this episode, I'll showcase three of my favorite third-party Moho tools and menu scripts. Hey, welcome to Little Green Dog's animation tutorial series. The version of Moho we'll be using is 14.3, but two of these scripts should also work for versions 13.5 and 12.5. Let's get started. In my humble opinion, Malt Rush's MR Guides is an essential tool for drawing and rigging in Moho. Before MR Guides came along, I drew my vertical and horizontal guidelines in a separate vector layer. Which wasn't anything horrible, but it wasn't ideal either, because to draw and edit the guides, I had to leave my current drawing layer. But with MR Guides, I just select the tool, choose my alignment, and click in the working area to place a guide. To move a guide, I activate the Move button and then drag each guide to its new position. As before, MR Guides creates the guides in a separate layer. But notice how we never left my selected drawing layer, which can be very convenient when I'm in a layer deep inside the folder structure. The tool has buttons for deleting individual guides, the most recent guide, and the entire guide layer. To hide the guides, Click the eyeballs. There are settings for the color and thickness of the guide, but you need to set these properties before you make the guide. To change the color and thickness after you create the guide, just switch to the Select Shape tool and change the style the way you would for a regular shape. Needless to say, MR Guides can be super handy during the drawing and rigging stages of a character. Malt Rush has created many tools that should be included in a standard kit so be sure to check out all of his scripts. Created by DKW Root, Mirror Points and Swap Sides are two separate tools, but they are siblings, so I'm going to count them as one close family. Mirror Points, the first tool, can be a real time saver when you need to make a symmetrical shape. It works by scanning the placement of points on one side of a curve and then repositioning the points on the other side to match. To use it, make sure corresponding points exist on both sides for the tool to reshape. Choose the top center point and then run the script. That's it. If you need to mirror the other side, choose the bottom center point and run the script. Swap Sides is the second tool, and it reshapes both sides of a shape so it appears flipped. I find this useful for animating smooth turns inside a smartphone action. For example, in this head turn action, I'm reshaping this character's head to animate a right side turn. Now, I'll copy the keyframe. And in the second action, I'll paste the keyframe from the first. And now, I'll use swap sides to reshape the curve so it looks flipped. It's important to understand that Swap Sides isn't actually flipping the shape. Instead, it's moving the points around so we can smoothly morph the base shape into the new shape. When we return to the main line to operate our smartphone dial, we have a smoothly turning animation that works for both sides of the head. Let's add a nose and eyes to complete the effect.
I should point out that Swap Sides has one flaw. For some reason, the top and bottom points need to remain in the horizontal center of the layer. If they're not centered, you'll probably see some strange results. But after you make the swap, you can move these points freely to improve the animation. Even with this flaw, swap sides can be another big time saver. We'll take a deeper dive into how I use mirror points and swap sides in a future tutorial on creating head and body turns. If there's one script I can call a game changer, that would be Ray's Shapes Window by Ray Lopez. This tool opens a floating window that displays all the shapes inside the selected layer as layers. Conveniently, you can change the stacking order of the shapes by selecting them and bumping them up and down using these arrow keys. Now how cool is that? And there's much more you can do here, like selecting shapes by matching properties, making inverse selections, and changing any of the style properties. You can even set liquid shapes options from here. The tool also has the ability to make shape selections based on point selections, which is very useful when constructing something complicated, like posable hand drawings with many small overlapping pieces. So if you don't already have Ray's Shapes window installed, I highly recommend it, especially if you use Liquid Shapes. Please note that this tool only works with Moho 14.1 and higher. Ray says he's only tested this tool in Windows but some Mac users have reported that it's working for them too. Believe it or not, all of these amazing scripts are free, and I've included links for more information about them and where to download them in the video description below. If you're not sure how to install scripts in Moho, I'll be making a tutorial about this topic in the near future. If you find any of these scripts useful, please send the creators a nice message and maybe a donation to show your appreciation. Hopefully, this will encourage these talented people to keep making cool tools for the rest of us. Want to learn about more third-party tools for Moho? I actually have many favorites that I use all the time, and I'll talk about them in another showcase video. Before we go, I want to thank everyone who supported our channel through our Ko-fi page. You guys rock. That's all for now. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon.